Alrighty, hello everybody. I thought I'd make a quick video kind of just going over and making it to where, you know, if you're wanting to hit Master Ball tier, kind of showcasing how easy it can be. So pretty much what we're going to do is we're going to go over the squad here. Oh wait, here, um, okay, there we go. All right, we're going to go with Marcos de Sinistra. We're gonna go with Ogre Pond, Majora, Tundra, my little cheetah. We've got Naruto, Garganackle, Mr. Steve, and we have Mothra. I'm literally throwing together a quick team. Just some, you know, mons that I thought would be fun, thought would actually have like a pretty solid time with. I'm actually probably, no, I'll keep the imprisoned trick room stuff just so I don't get trick roomed out of my mind. It'll honestly be fairly decent to be able to do that. You yeah, know, just wanted to kind of make a video just climbing up to Master Ball with a fun team and just having a good time with it. I think I'm in like rank, yeah, rank eight. So as we can see, I lost my last battle, but you know, it's okay. Just something fun, something to kind of like enjoy with, uh, you know, climbing the ladder. If anybody's having some issues climbing the ladder, you know, this is a really good example of being able to just showcase like, you can really do it as long as you have a solid sweeping core, because best of one is very much, if you sweep, if you have a good area to be able to set your, you know, your super offensive mons up, you can easily do it, so. Look at that, he has a light ball Pikachu. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna set some rocks to kinda start this. Set rocks and go, go foo. Go with the foo, just cause I'm scarfed. Then I will have these two in the back on this one cause it's a rain team. Like I'm saying, have fun with your mons. Man, Pikachu is so cool. That's so funny. What they probably do is they probably utilize the Pelipper to set the Tailwind so that they could bring Pikachu in the late game. That's fantastic. The only problem with Pikachu is he's so frail, I could probably murder him with one Sucker Punch, so... But we will see. We will see what the Pikachu team brings. Don't underestimate the power of Pikachu. Look at that. Look at this Pikachu. showcasing its peak of power. I don't want to get, like, blown back immediately. So I'm going to do this because, like, you don't have... If you don't fake out here, I can Wicked Blow for free. So... And I just don't want to get blown back immediately with my Garganackle because he's kind of my win con. Garganackle's a monster. Don't let anybody tell you different. Yep. That is a light bulb Pikachu if I've ever seen one. Perfect. Just the way I thought he would. Now, the question is, is if I want to just sucker punch the Pikachu to get rid of it. Because I do want to just salt cure into um, the Pelipper. I mean, I guess I could, but then, like, if he hurricanes, I just lose my Urshifu. I think I just switch here, just to be safe. I know Pikachu's a monster, and I should not let him get off attacks right now, but he's going to be getting off some attacks, and I'm going to have to just kind of deal with it. Oh my gosh, that does so much damage. <laughs> okay. Perfect. Now I understand that he can just hurricane into my Sinistra. So that's where I just have to kind of be like, all right, what else am I doing this next turn? Because like my flying weakness is massive as you can see. So what I'm gonna do is I'll probably just matcha 
I could even just Salt Cure again into the Pelipper. Because, like, I want to get rid of it. I'm max special defense, so we'll see. That does so much damage, oh my gosh. I do get rid of my little Sinistra, my little Teacup, but that's okay. I probably should have gone for Recover that last turn, but it's okay. It all depends on how many turns of Tailwind, I guess, this uh, that he's got left. Because I'm pretty much wanting to double protect. Excellent. See, so just waiting out this tailwind. And then he's probably got Baskew in the back. Ooh. Faint. Look at him go. I'm kind of okay with that. Because now I can just bring in Urshifu for free. Like I said, kind of okay with it. Okay, the biggest thing is, because their Tailwind petered out, so and they only have one more turn of rain. I almost feel like if I recover, right? Hmm. I wasn't realizing that, like, the Covert Cloak on Pelipper. Recover and hope that I live a hurricane with Urshifu. I honestly think I have a better bet of living a thunder. As weird as that may sound, I feel like I have a better bet living thunder. Oh, live! Oh. Okay. I think I'm going to let the Pikachu stay on the field. He has outplayed me immensely he has done well but I do think I need to let the Pikachu live and kind of bait that Thunder is going to miss so get swept the first round by a Pikachu ooh that's not good I want to see how much I do See if I get anywhere close. Oh gosh, no. Yeah. He's a little bulky. Nice. Hey, you know what? We lost to the Pikachu. And that just showcases you can bring whatever team you want. It really does. <laughs> as long as you can catch your opponents, like me, off guard. You're doing just fine. You are doing absolutely fine. Be yourself. Let no one tell you otherwise. Well, you know, I'm kind of fine with being swept by a Pikachu. In all honesty, like that first turn, if I would have just gone for Sucker Punch onto the Pikachu, like I was saying at the beginning of the <laughs> match, I would have easily just won just immediately. But because I didn't, um, as you saw, Pikachu just swept me. So, And I do have a bit of a flying weakness on this team. So, it's okay, though. All right. Time to bring ourselves back. You know, the more meta, like, squads are actually a lot easier for me to go up against, especially with Garganackle, so. And him actually realizing, like, how much of a threat Garganackle actually was, was pretty incredible. 
that last round. So, I honestly probably should, like, even if I would have Wicked Blow the Pikachu so that Garganackle could live one more hit, probably even would have been better in that circumstance. So, I just thought for sure they'd be going for Urshifu. But, even then, I think Pikachu still would have gotten Urshifu. Alright. In all honesty, Mothra's so quick that, like, I might be able to outspeed things even after Tailwind. And, I mean... It's such a powerful Mon. I'm going to probably get rid of Acid Spray for Sludge Bomb. I actually don't think it gets Sludge Bomb. I think it only gets Sludge Wave. Kind of unfortunate, but fun Pokemon to use nonetheless. I think I'm going to lead with Tundra. I'm trying to consider if I want to... I think I want to bring Urshifu, and I think I want to bring Mothra. my Mothra, my robotic moth. I think playing with like random mods on ladder though is something I highly encourage everybody does. I know Pokemon are not the easiest to come by, but definitely make sure that you're playing with different teams so that you can kind of like figure out what you want to be doing. He's a shiny Tornadus. Look at him. The Rillaboom's not as fun as the Tornadus. I would taunt, like, immediately. So I'm just going to do this and this. I would taunt. Because there's no necessary... Like, there's no reason to just go straight for a uh, Tailwind. So... Oh, this is easily one of my favorite competitive Pokemon. Like I'm saying, don't underestimate Garganackle. He brought me to a 6-3 win, or 6-3 record at uh, Charlotte Regionals, man. He's a good Mon. Man, I could have set the Stealth Rocks there, but that's okay. I was not expecting to have to take that, so... U-turn's going to do way too much damage into uh, Chien. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to set the rocks and I'm going to switch Chien out. Question is, is to what? We'll go Mothra. The special defense bulk on Iron Moth is incredible, so... Nice. Get that speedy moth. Who baited it? Nice! That's awesome. Oh no. This is why I'm going for rocks though, because that's just annoying. And then I need to start honing in on the tornado so he can't set another tailwind. Because my back line is going to be so good into him um, as long as I can get Torn out of here. I don't know if the combination of Salt Cure and an attack from Iron Moth will be enough, but we will definitely see. Okay. Now, if he has Stomping Tantrum, it could be really bad. We set some rocks. Let them kind of... Let them kind of have to take those in. Slowly, fully gaining my health back, which is phenomenal. All right, I'm trying to think now. Now is one of those like pretty, uh, pretty scary scenarios. Um, because like, if our buddy over there. I almost feel like I could just sweep him really quick. Which is almost what I want to do. He does have stomping. And that's okay though, because that means he doesn't have a setup move. 
Solo targeted Bleak Wind. That's a good chunk. But it's not enough to like really warrant like me being super scared about it. So the only thing that I'm really scared of is um, just him getting up another Tailwind is going to be like the most unfortunate thing. So this next play, what I think I need to do... I mean, Sucker Punch could get pretty close to picking him up. So... It's a consideration, that's for sure. I think I go for Salt Cure. The question is... Is if I protect my Chien. I think I do. I think I do here. And if he just tags into... Um, the slot of... Uh, I mean... It's probably better for him to just hit Garganackle. That is actually so good. I hope it's Rillaboom coming back in. It's Fluttermane. Okay. Ooh, those stones are doing some work. What is he? Is he speed? Good. I'd rather him be speed. Let's see if he connects into my big guy again. He does, dang. It's unfortunate. It's okay, though. The grassy terrain has actually been helping me out a lot more than uh, probably he was wanting to anticipate, so. Is he not cloak? He might have a berry then. I will be going for Torn this turn. Um... Hmm. Yeah, so what he'll probably want to do, I want to recover. He'll probably want to set the Tailwind back again, just so he has that. The good thing is, is I have Sucker Punch with both of my back mons. The problem is, is the Rillaboom, to be honest. And I know that sounds so strange, but it actually is, because the Ogre Pond is going to take so much damage from Stealth Rocks that it's really not an issue. I'm actually very thankful he's going for a Terra here. What is the Terra? I'm really thankful he's going for the Terra. It's scary that it is the uh, uh, Fairy Terra on Fluttermane, though. But, I mean, like I'm saying, it's, it's one of those things where I'd rather him go for this Terra. I easily live this, just because of my ability. Down goes Torn finally. It might have been. Oh! That was something I was actually very scared of. That was something I was actually very scared of, and I should have considered that. That's okay, though. Alright. So what I'm probably going to do this next turn is if it's Ogre Pond, I'm just going to Sucker Punch Ogre Pond immediately. If it's Rillaboom, I'm probably going to go for Protect first on Chien and just try to see if I can get my recovery back and then maybe even switch to Urshifu afterwards. Okay. Okay. I'm going to slowly try to tick away at the flutter. This is going to be a close one. It's not looking super good for me because they got that uh, second tailwind up. But you know what? That's okay. He does just tag up into the garg slot, which is... Oh! Good! Good, good, good. Ooh, that does solid damage. 
Hmm. Is a Sucker Punch going to be enough? I'm trying to consider that, because that is a very valid option. I do think Recover is my best play here with Garganackle. But, like, man... Do I just Sucker Punch with Chien Pao? How many turns of Tailwind do you got left? You have two? Because, like... That Salt Cure did so much damage. I... Oh, that is perfect. Let's see who he Moon Blasts. Yep. He doesn't glide, though, which is very concerning. Does he Wood Hammer? Well... Oh, we're way fine. I don't know why he did that. So I do need to lock myself into Sucker Punch if, um, it doesn't look like it's going to pick up. So I do the, uh, Salt Cure anyways. So I do need to lock myself into Sucker Punch. It did pick up. Oh man, that's really big. Um... I honestly think I actually go for Wicked Blow. I think Wicked Blow is going to be better. Even though he has one more turn of Tailwind, Wicked Blow is going to be better. Wow. What a battle. The reason why Wicked Blow will be better is because um, if he has Grassy Glide and he goes for that, um, Sucker Punch is just going to fail. So, we just tag up into the Ogre Pond. Oh, wow! He didn't even try! I mean, it was a, it was a bit of a stretch, but... Okay. That's okay. That's a, that's a good, solid win. That is a solid win right there. Okay. We are going two really quick just let myself kind of start searching for another battle here um boop -a -doop, -doop. Doop -a -doop, boop doop boop doop boop doop boop i hope it's not like being weird but i just kind of have to do something really quick as this is recording because yeah uh, okay, cool. And then, um, we're still good. Perfect. Okay, excellent. Um, we have an okie dogie. How strange. How strange. Um. Let's see. Naruto is probably going to be that mon I want to... I still kind of want to start with my... With my Garganackle here. Because he's just perfect. I honestly kind of like... Sinistra here. Hmm... I'm trying to decide, because it's either I bring, um, huh, because it's either I bring Sinistra, kind of have, like, follow me pressure, you know what, I love Ogre Pond, and I'm gonna just bring Chien Pao specifically because I have the Sash and I hit so hard. They're, they have a Pikachu mask. 
Why have I not seen said Pikachu mask? Okay, so he could Tailwind. You know... I am so okay. Well, if I Wicked Blow into... Yeah, if I just Wicked Blow Torn, it just gets rid of it. And I don't believe he can one-shot my Urshifu with uh, Chien. I have a little bit of HP investment into this, so... And the natural defense bulk of Urshifu is pretty solid, so... See what he decides to go for. Okay, yeah, he went to go hit Garganackle, which was what I was expecting. Wow. To be honest, I did not expect... You have... This man has to have a lot. Like, they have to have a lot of defense investment to live that. Like, a lot. I'm adamant. So, max attack. I would Sacred Sword into Bleak Wind. Do I just kind of let him take Urshifu? I don't think I do. I, I almost think like I'd rather him have like Ogre Pawn or Chien. I'm going to set some rocks. Because I think Urshifu can pretty much like sweep this for me, so... Ooh, who misses? That is very bad for him. And the reason I wanted my rocks up here is specifically so that uh, if he decides he wants to try to switch out, he really can't. So... I'm gonna just follow me here so that I can guarantee that Garganackle doesn't take like any damage. And then I could even try to waste their Tailwind. You know what? That'd be a good play. Because I have the uh Because I have the rocks up, he can't switch. So Ha <laughs> ha. Steve has showcased his bow. Sunny day, huh? So he's just trying to boost the back line a bit more. Whoever is in his back line will get this like little boost. I do feel like getting rid of Torn on this play is going to be my best option so i am just gonna go for follow me and i am just gonna go for salt cure into the torn perfect i don't know why he ice sharded like i, I really don't know why because he still had to turn a tailwind I don't know why I keep calling him he. This individual could be a girl. I don't know. I shouldn't assume. They're in a Pikachu mask. We'll never know their identity. Oh. Oh. And there's the Tailwind. I'm going directly into Urshifu because... You can't, you can't let yourself disregard Urshifu. I think Wicked Blow should take out the Ogre Pond pretty easily, especially if Chien stays in. I almost want to recover this turn. I thought so. Oh, I thought so. But I am scarfed, friend. This is why ladder, you can just catch people off guard. And it's bad. 
You just take advantage of Chien Pao's defense drop and get it going. And the reason I um, went for this play specifically was so that I could keep taking advantage of Chien Pao's defense it, like drops. Um, so, yeah. Now, the biggest thing for me on this turn is deciding if Chien Pao or uh, Urshfu is going to be more important. And it's going to be Chien. So what we'll do here is we'll get him that nice little salt cure going. Go for the wicked blow. Because, yep, he just goes for the ice shard. But me having my focus sash intact with Chien is going to be a lot more important. So... He does have knockoff, and it does an atrocious amount of damage. But it's okay. The next play, we legitimately just go for recover. Because here's the deal. Even if he has drain punch here, right? The biggest thing he can go for is go for the drain punch into Chien Pao. Get all of his health back, but I can recover it off. And then if Chien Pao is not... A, like, in this match, I will outstall the Okadogi. Like, I 100% will outstall it. So, yeah. This will be a pretty solid end game. Might be a slow one, but that's okay. Because, like I'm saying, even if he has Drain Punch, he's going to have to hit me twice. The second one, he's not going to recover any health. And I'm just going to do massive damage to him. So. Perfect. And like I said, I can really just outstall him. This next turn, I am just going to go for the little tiny bit of salt cure damage. And I don't need to like go, oh, who's he going to hit? Chien Pao or Garganackle here and try to predict things. I really don't need to because if he doesn't hit Chien Pao here, I just hit him twice, he goes down. If he hits Chien Pao, I literally can just stall him out with Garganackle because he can't drain punch to recover any health. Exactly. You hit him with that tiny little bit of chip damage. It's going to be like absolutely nothing, but I can just protect Garganackle this next turn. Unless like out of nowhere he's like some crazy rest set. I win this. Oh, and we just take care of him there. Perfect. Had that awkward amount of HP where it didn't help. Here it is. Bam. We got that big win. Ho oh, 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 ho. Oh. See, look at this squad. This squad of teams. Oh, man. We're getting there. Look, there's a Braviary. Oh my gosh. How brave of him. <laughs> uh, gotta make yourself laugh in life. Okay. The biggest thing is, is, um, you know, utilizing Steve for as much as he's worth because he's gonna be really weak to Chiyu after tearing. So I just kinda, I really have to make sure I get rid of Chiyu. And I'm trying to decide, because I want to bring, I want to bring Urshifu, like I do. Urshifu is so solid into getting rid of Ogre Pond, Chiyu, Braviary, Fluttermane, so 
Landorus even. As long as I can get enough damage off on everything. Urshifu pretty much can sweep, so... The question is, is who I'm wanting to bring last. I think I want to bring... I'm leaning kind of towards the teacup. The reason being is because the teacup walls the hands. But like, do I need that wall? I don't necessarily need it because I have a wall to the hands. I have two. Yeah, I'll bring, I'll bring Chien. I'll bring Chien on this one. I like my little Cheeto. Oh, we both have sleeping Pokemon. <laughs> Give or take, mine's better, but, you know. Because it's Doug. You really led this, didn't you? Let's see. Are you the speed booster? It kind of seems like you were. Yes. Oh, this is tough because he doesn't have anything super effective to hit, so I don't need a Terra right now. I might just struggle bug. My Terra's grass, isn't it? I have pretty solid special defense, too. So I'm not sure what he wants to go for. I think I just Fiery Dance on this turn. I think I need to get rid of Flutter. Yeah, I think I get rid of Flutter on this turn. He's going straight to get rid of Garg. Which might be his best play. My poor rock. Hmm. Is he locked into Dark Pulse, though? Ooh, because if he is, I'm in a pretty solid spot. Okay. I am just going to go for Sucker Punch. It's very obvious. And then I'm going to go for... I think I struggle bug. Perfect. I'm okay with that. Monofera. Wow. I better still knock out. He took half health from that last hit. I better still knock out. Yeah, I don't, but I struggle bugged, so we're fine. This is where Sinisha would have been amazing. Oh, is this better? I think it might be. <laughs> um, I almost think I just sucker punch again. Because I think you fake out into the Iron Moth slot. Hmm. I'm gonna just do it. And then... I Acid Spray? So that I can guarantee the kill? He does just go for fake out into Chien. Oh my gosh. Does this take out Chien? Oh, it's plenty. The good thing is, is I will immediately take out He's at minus one, right? Because <laughs> I'm thinking of doing this. Yeah, we'll be good. As long as he doesn't go for Moon Blast, I think we're fine. Then let's take you out. This is plus one, and you're at minus two. Should be able to take him out pretty easily.
Okay. Perplexing. Oh, this close combat's about to go in. <laughs> If Landorus is in the back, though, I think I do still lose this. It all depends on who his back line is. This better knock out. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And because I'm going to be faster than Fluttermane with my Urshifu, because it doesn't have its booster anymore... See, Landorus was going to be the problem, child. Oh, no. This is not good. Because I think he brought me back down to neutral, didn't he? Oh, no. I mean, I'm not necessarily at neutral, though. I mean, this is still fine. because I was booster speed. So I'm still a little faster than what I'd regularly be at. Oh, that's game. He's gonna beat me. Oh no. You know, if I wasn't intimidated, I want to see if I still had a chance if I wasn't intimidated. Oh my gosh, I think I would have. <laughs> I could have won. <laughs> oh no! Urshifu! Oh yeah. Well, there was the bad part of locking myself into, you know... close combat. I could have locked myself into, uh, uh, you know. <laughs> could have locked myself into Wicked Blow. Look at that. Look at it. It's like, no, you're staying. Let's do the AI professor. Well, you know what? Let's see if we can just get, you know, to 10 and 3 against the hot mess. They're just a hot mess, you know? Okay. But in all honesty, <sighs> this looks like it could either be Scarf Ape or Bulk Up Ape. I would say it's Bulk Up. I do really like running with Steve here. The biggest issue is like going up against the Roaring Moon. I actually really like you two. You two get in there. Get in there. Do your thing. You guys got this. All right. No, I really don't like Shiny Flutter. Neither of them are booster energy. How strange. That means one of you is scarfed. guessing it's the bundle. I want to set the rocks though because if he decides to switch the rocks just threaten so I'm curious on what he's going for. Is maybe one of them scarfed? 
No. So the booster is on Roaring Moon. Because it has higher special defense and I want to keep my Sash intact. And I don't think they're going to be going for uh, anything super crazy. Plus, this also means I can take out um, Bundle with... Yeah, that's what I thought you'd go for. I can take out Bundle with the Moth, so... Yay, Iron Moth. It's hard for me to determine whether I go for um, Recover or Salt Cure. I think I just pressure Flutter main here. I like pressuring Flutter. I might even just go for Struggle Bug. No, I think Fiery Dance should take out the bundle. As long as it's not like Assault Vested, Fiery Dance should take out bundle. And me being able to possibly get a special attack boost is incredible. So... The Moth is solid. I think I have, like, the wrong, of course, move set on it. But I think if you, like, really prioritize the build, the Moth can be so good. I'm for sure faster than Urshifu with the Moth. Hmm. So that's probably where the Sash is, then. Oh, wow. So to be honest, you either sucker punch the moth, or you take out Garg. And that's the option I'm going to give him. Do I think Struggle Bug would be enough after that hit? Because like, what if he protects Urshifu here? I almost want to predict the protect. No protect. That's bad on my part, but we'll see if I predicted right. Because I think you go for the moth. You don't. So you go for my big rock? No. Not my rock. Oh. He was just trying to live his best life. I honestly think the only problem would be if he does if he Terra's. Hmm. We'll see. We'll see. Sucker Punch into Iron Moth is such an obvious play too. I almost want to predict him to go for Sucker Punch into Iron Moth. But, like, what do I do after that? Yeah, there's no reason. There's no reason to predict it. But I don't know if, um... I guess there was a reason to predict it. Okay. Do I get the Wicked Blow on? I will gladly take that. Oh, perfect. Okay. Then I'm fine with this. I think I just win this, then. Because if you would have gone for Wicked Blow onto the Moth, I mean, at least, you know. Or, I mean, not Wicked Blow. If you would have gone for, uh... Oh my gosh, what am I even trying to say here? Sucker Punch. He would have been in a pretty solid spot. I mean, I can easily just Wicked Blow here into the bundle and just go for Fiery Dance into the Amoongus. Fiery Dance.
I don't know what the bundle was. Was he like specs? Like I, I, I honestly don't know. That's so strange. Yes, pointed stones dig into the flutter. He's going for it. You might as well. You believe. You gotta believe a little. Even though there's honestly no chance because I'm choice scarfed. But you believe. I'm curious to see how much this does just right off rip. Wow. Man. Look at those crits. I must just be super lucky. I gotta be real, I like regular Fluttermane more than the shiny. Look at Doug. Look at Doug sleeping. Isn't he so cute? Palmata is gonna be so good in restricted format, though. Oh my gosh. He is gonna be one of my favorite Pokemon to use in restricted format. I can say that right now. Like, with 100% certainty. He is going to be so good in restricted format being able to revive a legendary plus getting access to fake out and being able to paralyze plus close combat dealing really solid damage into the steel types oh he's gonna be good he's gonna be good maybe even get to rank nine here huh oh man no, if you're willing to put in the time, hitting Master Ball really isn't the hard part on ladder. I think the biggest thing on ladder that you really want to be able to gain is, of course, just getting used to how things play um, and really finding out your own play style. For me, I love hyper offense. I love being able to just beat down my opponents with offensive moves. So really kind of honing in on like, all right, what kind of a playstyle do I want to have? What kind of a Pokemon player do I want to be? That's something like that playing consistently really helps with. So, Wartero. Huh. 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 There we go. Okay. All my problems answered right there. Um. In all honesty, if that's water, Urshifu, Sinistra is so good. I hate it how you can't tell what Urshifu it is. Is it if... No, because Urshifu could be male or female. I'm going to bring him predicting that it's a water Urshifu. I'm going to bring my Urshifu. I might even just go like this so that I can hit... Um. Well, no, what if he has... What if he leads with a uh, Torn? I almost want to do something like this. Hmm. I think I do this. The reason being is because I think Focus Ash is going to be really, really nice, and Champow does really well in the Fluttermane. Like, every single match that I bring Champow in with Fluttermane, it's always just such a solid option into Fluttermane. So, I don't have to, like, stress about that matchup. Also, because of that. Yep. Now, what I'm going to do... He could go for Earth Power into, um, he could even Flash Cannon. I don't like, me thinking about Flash Cannon right there just made me go, yep, I am 100% <laughs> ensuring that I am going to live this turn because Flash Cannon is Stab and Heatran hits like a truck. So, oh, okay. Okay. Does he heat wave? 
Like, as long as he doesn't get the burn on Chien, I'm fine. Oh, that does solid damage. Like I'm saying, as long as he doesn't burn Chien, yeah, he didn't need to miss both. 90% accurate move, missing both Mons, oh my gosh. I am just going to protect my Chien Pao, of course, this turn and set the rocks. And then we'll start curing Iron Hands. It might be a slow game, but... I hope you all see why Garganackle is still relevant. And yes, as you all can see, my team is legit because, you know, you see how I've lacked resources in my protects and such. So. There it is. Goes for another heat wave. Does connect this time onto Garg, but... I'm max special defense, max HP. I get the rocks up. And then I can set the cure into Iron Hands and switch out Chien Pao to ensure that he keeps his sash in play. So. This is where Garganackle can run with matches. This is why I really like Garganackle. And the reason on why he's chunking more and more is because he's a steel type. Steel and water types really do not like um, salt cure. It does a quarter of their health instead of an eighth. So, Garganackle is one of those Pokemon, though. The reason on why a lot of people aren't using it and the reason on why I think it's not a top meta is because... It's really hard for Garganackle to um, accent the other teammates. Like, he pretty much just does things kind of on his own. And that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. It's more just that it's really hard for you to be able to find, you know, the accents for Garganackle. Like, he pretty much comes in, and if they don't respect him, he takes the match. And getting used to playing with Garganackle is actually a lot harder than it seems. It's not just, like, clicking buttons. It's more like understanding where you're good and where you're not, and taking the gambles that, like, you can take in those moments... I am just going to cudgel into this slot. I thought he'd switch, so... At least I get rid of Heatran on this turn. Nice. Yeah, that does nothing. I guess I could have recovered, but... It's not a big deal, because I can follow me recover this next turn anyways. Heatran goes down. And like I'm saying, it is a little bit of a slow game. It's a slow waiting game sometimes, but Garganackle does well. He is a very good Mon. Yes. Yes. Get cured by salt. Even if he sets the Tailwind, though, with uh, Torn here, I guaranteed can still outspeed Iron Hands unless they're, like, super fast Iron Hands. Which I highly doubt that's the case. Um, the question is... I'm kind of trying to think of if I recover if that's the better play here. I think I do recover and I just go for a cudgel into Torn. Because... I think even if it resists, I think rocks could kill. Huh. It's a good switch. I respect it. Here comes the Tailwind. But the reason I did this is because having Garganackle on the field more is just what I want.
perfect. And then Salt Cure into the Tornadus. Um, guarantees that the Tornadus goes down. And I can Spiky Shield. Yeah, yeah, that's what I want to do. I had to think about that for a second just because I was like, if I start the Salt Cure into a Water type, it's going to be doing a lot more damage. So it's a consideration that I was going to have. Yes. There we go. Go with the spiky shield. And he does just horn leech, so we're in a good spot. Take a little bit of chip from him. And then bleak wind comes out. It's going to do absolutely nothing, even if it crits to Garganackle, because Garganackle is a behemoth, and it doesn't even hit him. Oh, this poor kid. They are having a hard time. Down goes the genie. I think Stealth Rocks takes out Iron Hands here. And if it doesn't, oh, I will focus the Iron Hands just because 1v3 is going to be very hard for him. So. Yeah, it won't, but that's okay. We'll just go for this. That is the weirdest play. I guess like you're... Huh. Okay. I can see it. I can see where like that would be. I'm surprised that the Iron Hands under Tailwind was still faster than my Ogre Pond. That means he's got some pretty decent speed investment because i'm max speed ogre pond one health that's what i'm talking about yeah oh my gosh that does such solid damage um i'm not gonna bring in sinistra yet and i think he's only got one more turn of tailwind right so I just protect this turn over Salt Cure. Because you have no... Like, even if you Cudgel and uh, Wild Charge, I think it still takes you out. I'm fairly certain it will. Ooh! This will take out um, Garganackle. Man, this is a good fight! I've still pretty much got this in the bag, though. That's why I'm not super worried about this. Because all I have to do is target down the Iron Hand slot. Because you can't... Like... You can't follow me and attack with Overpawn. So... He played this really well, though, this late game. Because I guarantee he attacks. He doesn't. I would have doubled. I would have doubled, but... Even then, like I said, I still have Sinistra in the back. And because he Terra watered here, Sinistra just matches up even better into him now. So. Oh, yes. And the Salt Cure slowly murders both of them. Look at this. Look at this. Iron Hands goes down. And that is a victory. Sweet. Good job, team. And that right there brings us to rank 9. Climbing the ladder's fun. It's always a goofy little, like, bit that you can do. and So, yeah. But I do thank everybody for watching. If you guys have tuned in, me hitting rank nine was pretty much, you know, I think I went, what, three and two? Woohoo. But, like, one of the biggest things that I really wanted to um, showcase was just that you can really bring whatever team you want just to get used to some different mons. And I really still want to showcase, like, how good Garganackle actually is. So. 
this was something kind of fun for me just to be able to showcase to everybody that Garganacle still has some pretty solid bits up his sleeve. But thank you all for watching. I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day and continue to live large. Thank you all. Goodbye.